Welcome to Laruler. We're glad that you're here. In this tutorial, we're going to review over importing and updating cases inside of Laruler. This functionality is really useful as it allows you to create new cases directly inside of the system, and if information ever changes on those cases, you can always update those cases in mass directly inside of Laruler. The first step to importing new cases into Laruler is preparing our CSV spreadsheet that has all of the information that we're going to import into the system. Now that we have our spreadsheet prepared, we're going to navigate to the Import Wizard by going to the Setup in the left side menu, scrolling down and navigating to the Import Wizard, and this is going to allow us to import all of those cases simultaneously. So we're going to choose File, we have our Cases Import, we will click Continue, and so from here we're going to select that this is a case import type. We have no duplicates, so we'll go ahead and click Skip, and from the mapping, we're just going to select our cases import and click continue. And so from here we can see all of our fields are already mapped and we even have some custom questions that are mapped as well. And so what we can do is we can go ahead and if everything looks good, we'll click continue. And that's going to take us to the final screen where we're going to confirm which email address we want to receive the notification that the import is complete. We'll click import now and we see this notification indicating that the import is currently in progress. So now that my import is completed, I can always navigate back to the inbox and I can see all my new cases were just successfully imported into the system. And just to confirm that all of the data is successfully there, we'll open up one of the cases and we'll go to the case info form and there we'll see all the information that we've mapped. Everything is right here. And so all that different information that we had on our spreadsheet was successfully imported into this new case. Now if you ever need to update those cases, the process works very similarly to updating your leads. We have our new spreadsheet and it has some different answers for some of those custom fields. So we're going to use this import spreadsheet to go ahead and update those cases in mass inside of LawRuler. So back at the inbox, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the setup menu. Here we'll navigate back to the import wizard and we're going to use the import tool to update those cases in mass in Laurler. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our new file to update our cases with. And we made some changes to the status and also we made some changes to the custom questions. So what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is select the case. And then rather than skip, we're going to select update because we're going to do some updates to this case. And finally, we're going to choose our saved mapping that we had before, and we're going to click Continue. So we're just going to verify that all the fields line up, everything looks good, it all looks good to go. Now what we're going to do is click Continue. And again, the system is going to tell us if, we, if it's ID'd any errors, it doesn't look like there are any errors, it's going to it says how many rows are going to be imported, and any email addresses you want to receive a notification when the import is complete. You can enter those emails here separated by commas. Now we're going to proceed with the import and when we're looking at this screen we know that the import is proceeding and as soon as that's complete anybody who is added to that list will receive a notification that the import has been completed. 